Hello everyone, welcome back to Vermont Craft Tours and happy Thanksgiving if you're watching this video on the day that it comes out. I hope that you're uh, having a nice relaxing time with loved ones. Um, today I wanted to continue our theme of fiber crafts this week and share with you my recipe or guide for making a simple gift. If you're like me, you probably make some of your gifts. Um, I've done this since I was a child and I really enjoy making things for people. Um, and of course, since I took up knitting uh, about eight or nine years ago, um, that's mostly what I give people is knitted items. So um, I really like uh, to make socks, um, but they can be somewhat time consuming. So I came up with this method for making a sleeping sock. This is a very thick uh, fabric. And um, you can see from the size of the stitches, uh, it's a very quick knit as well. This is knit in Aran weight yarn, which is slightly thicker yarn than worsted weight. Um, I developed this pattern or, or method, I guess you could say. Um, over the last year, I had made some sleeping socks with a different yarn than this one, which I'll talk about in a second, and they just didn't hold up. Um, it was a, a standard kind of worsted weight sweater yarn, and um, there were actually two different brands. I thought, oh, this looks you know pretty sturdy. It's wool, and it should hold up. Um, and it might have been fine for a sweater, but rubbing around in your shoe or in your house slipper, um, or just getting that kind of wear every day, they ran right through the he heels on both the pair I made for myself and also the pair I made for Rick. Um, so that was disappointing. So I was searching around for a different kind of yarn, and as it happened, my mom had some in her stash that she was uh, getting rid of, and it's called Country Classic Yarn for Socks. I'll link to a place that you can buy it online if you're interested. Um, but it's a really great yarn. It's a standard sock yarn um, composition. So it's 80% wool, 20% nylon, and the nylon gives it that extra strength. Um, it comes in a lot of different colors. They're all kind of heathery. This is a blue, um, but it's got bits of green and purple. Um, there's an oatmeal, there's a brown. If you're going for more neutrals, there's a dark blue, um, and there's pink and purple and all kinds of fun colors. So, um, and it's not very expensive. I think I paid eight or nine dollars for a ball, which will make one pair for um, the smaller size, the adult women's size. So it's a good value, um, and I have a pair of brown ones that I made myself last year and have been wearing all last winter and then just started wearing again a couple weeks ago. Um, actually, I have them on. I'll take one off and show you. So there you go. That's after a year, a season, and a few weeks of wearing them. They are pilling a little bit, but you'll notice on the heel they're not wearing through at all. Um, and usually where I wear my socks down is right here. So this is really holding up well, still has good as elasticity. Um, they're fold a little bit on the bottom from friction, but they have been through the washer a number of times. And, you know, they're still nice and flexible. I can still get them on them off my foot really easily. So the, the test, in my opinion, has been successful and I can recommend this yarn for knitting socks. Um, now again, these are sleeping socks or maybe they're heavy boot socks. Um, you're not going to be able to get a normal shoe on with this kind of uh, thing on your foot, but if you had a barn boot or something that was kind of oversized or hunting, big hunting boots or something, you could probably get your foot in with, with that on. Um, I just wear them around the house because we keep our house pretty cold in the winter. Um, the full details on kind of my recipe for making this sock are going to be in the show notes for this episode. So I won't repeat them here, but uh, it's pretty simple. You just do some ribbing at the top, knit your leg plain, do a short row garter stitch heel, which if you've never done one of those, I linked to a really good tutorial online on how to do this, and knit your foot, and then just do a standard um, decreased toe. Now this sock has a marker in it because I haven't finished its mate, and I wanted to make sure I started the toe at the same spot. So this just will help me count the rows from here to there on my second sock. Um, but I can knit one of the, a pair of these in a week easily, just in my usual knitting time in the evenings. Um, so they're a great, a great pair. The other thing I wanted to mention was the needles that I like to use. Um, these are called carbons 
K-A-R-B-O-N-Z, or carbones, um, and Webs sells them. Um, that's yarn.com, um, but you can get them other places too. Your your local yarn shop might carry them. They're carbon fiber, and then they have these nickel-plated tips on them. And I'm really hard on my needles. I grip hard. Um, I kind of pull as I knit. Um, I'm a tight knitter, and I have broken countless pairs of bamboo, plastic, and other um, kinds of needles, and these are really strong. I can't even bend them. Um, they have a nice warm feeling in the hand. They're slightly grippy, so they don't fall out of your work, and they're nice and lightweight. So I enjoy these, and they make them in circulars, too, if you prefer to knit uh, your socks on circular needles. Um, so yeah, that's my basic tips for knitting these socks. Again, the, uh, the method is going to be online, and that's in the show notes below this video. Um, and enjoy, and let me know if you make these. Um, you can see a couple of pairs that I've knit on my Ravelry page, um, so you can contact me there or through the YouTube video if you have any questions or if you want to share photos. I'd love to see if you make some socks. Thanks. Have a wonderful holiday and happy knitting for everybody. I hope you get through your whole list. Um, and yeah, have a great holiday and tune in next time. Subscribe to our channel for more tips and fiber talk. Thanks so much.